In the previous video, I demonstrated how to create agents. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the company. Uh, we are going to do several steps in setting up company, the company, starting with company details. So in order to uh, start transacting and to start active uh, transactions on a system, we need to set up the system correctly. In order to set up the uh, company details, you go to maintenance and then you click on common in, on the common module there and then uh, you go to company details. Under company details, in the box that comes through, you are going to have uh, the student number because this is an educational version, so it will request your student number, in which case you must then put your own student number. So if your student number is M123456, then you put it in like that. But if this was in demo version, it was going to request actual uh, company details here. But since it's a, a, an educational version, it only requires our student number. Then the accounting, uh, perhaps let's start with the general. Uh, on, under general, you choose uh, the dollar sign there, the current symbol is dollar sign, don't worry about the European Union. Then you go to the accounting period. Accounting period is the period uh, over 12 months, uh, usually starting in January to December, but it can start in any other month, for example, at the beginning of March to the end of February the following year. But in this case, uh, we've got uh, financial years f five by default, you can add more or you can subtract some of uh, these years, but for now I don't want to add a year. Uh, you can also uh, expand uh, by clicking on the plus uh, to see the closing, uh, uh, to see the 12 periods for each uh, financial year. So year one has got 12 periods, year two has got its own 12 periods. Uh, but as you can see, the closing date for the first uh, period is 31 uh, January 2020 but sometimes it may not be uh, 31 January 2020 but in my case it was uh, because I had set up some things so I you would then click on the closing date remember it's the last day of the first month so you go to the uh, toggle you click once and then in the date picker that comes through you can change the month until it's January and you can also change the years here until it's 2020. So uh, you then select uh, 31 uh, the January uh, being the closing date of the first month. So when this is done, you click, uh, we've got these two recalculate buttons one that recalculates upwards and the other one which recalculates downwards you should check the direction of the green arrow so because i want to recalculate going downwards i would then click on this one then it will recalculate my periods downwards to uh, december 31 so i have correctly set up uh, the financial year starting in january and ending in december and uh, uh, the bank uh, details can be put in here we can complete these uh, fields, but for now we can leave it as it is. Uh, the search pay may not appear in some of your versions, but uh, uh, again, you can leave this uh, as it is. Uh, so this is how uh, you actually set up company details. Thank you very much.